Right now in St. Paul, investigators are searching for clues at a mosque because they think someone tried to set it on fire. Crews responded around 8.30 this morning to the fire at the Tahid Islamic Center on North Dale Street in St. Paul. Jonah Kaplan is there and he joins us now from outside the mosque. So have you learned anything from officials, Jonah? Yeah, Amelia, in fact, we've been watching investigators going in and out, and you can still smell the remnants of the fire this morning. You see this police line tape right here. It says, do not cross. That's, of course, as a barrier to keep the public out, but it's also kind of a dividing line. Inside here, fire investigators, the fire marshal, ATF, and then outside, St. Paul police looking for clues maybe on the periphery, and that includes security cameras. An afternoon called a prayer and a reminder that some sanctuaries sit inside, but there's always room for the Almighty in your heart. You attack a place of worship in America, it comes back stronger, it comes back bigger, and you create more friends. Daoud Mohammed telling us his mosque, the Oromo Tawheed Islamic Center, also serving as a community hub. The building had been undergoing renovation, so no one was inside and no one was hurt. Still, the suspected arson attack, leaving many members with emotional wounds. My worst fear when I look at this is that my four-year-old son, um, who lives here, my beautiful wife, who lives and works here, is also a product of our great state of Minnesota, getting attacked tomorrow and that being okay. According to investigators, fire crews first arrived at 8.30 a.m. Wednesday. Detectives were still combing through the debris later in the afternoon. This is the sixth suspected attack on a mosque this year in Minnesota, the second in two weeks in St. Paul, after surveillance footage captured vandals throwing rocks at the Majid al-Sunna Mosque on Peterson Street. Police officials saying they will increase patrols at mosques across the city. The mayor promising he'll lobby to raise funds for more security cameras. If you come anywhere near a mosque in St. Paul, be prepared to say cheese because you will be on camera yes. and we will be able to see you. After the news conference this afternoon, I got a chance to talk with one of the deputy chiefs in St. Paul Police one on one, and he was telling me there really have not been any direct threats made against this mosque or any others. Investigators are going to be trying to now piece together the clues to see if there are any connection between this and some of the other attacks. Governor Walsh today also tweeting, we have no tolerance for this kind of hate. Amelia. All right, Jonah, thank you.